I'm just looking for this declaration. Yeah. <laughs> a custody decree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, such as a divorce, maybe a separate order. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm just looking for the declaration. The uh, There is no declaration under the penalty of perjury. Right. Declaration of rights and action which litigant uh, requests a court assistance, not because any rights have been wrong, but uh, those rights are uncertain. Yes. Declaration of solvency. <laughs> Declaration of state of mind. <laughs> Declaration of use. Declaration under penalty of perjury. See Declaration 8. Yes. Uh, Declaration number 8. <laughs> Declaration, dying declaration, judicial declaration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, declaration oops, uh, of default of dividend declarant. <laughs> One, two, three. Declaration of legit, uh, formal legal pronouncement that a child is legitimate. <laughs> you would think that that would be something important, wouldn't it? <laughs> what if the five minors named have my last name and they're not my actual son? <laughs> Without the penalty of perjury, it's quite possible that there are five others <laughs> minors named that are not my biological sons. But since she wouldn't put her name on it, there's no possible way to. Well, it's not true without her signature that those are her actual kids. And quite possibly there are five other individuals that have my name. <laughs> now, as much as you don't think that I would actually sue you. Ouch. Uh, judicial declaration, a party statement made in court and transcribed about a case of material facts. <laughs> Q statement made after an arrest and taken down in writing. Yes. Uh, number four, number six, number seven. <laughs> oh, number eight, a formal written statement resembling an affidavit but not notarized or sworn to that attests under penalty of perjury <laughs> to facts known by the declarant. Such a declaration, if uh, properly prepared, is admissible in federal court. <laughs> is this admissible in federal court without um, the penalty of perjury? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if the county court actually issued a protection order that is not admissible in federal court? Yes, because there is no penalty of perjury that the actual five minors named are my actual five biological sons. <laughs> what? I know these state courts that issue court orders where... <laughs> There's no, it's not just an acknowledgement of the receipt of the order, it's that the individual that filled this out, right, they, under the penalty of perjury, acknowledge that this person, yes, is this person, but since they don't give their signature, they don't acknowledge the court clerk as being there, right, and uh, all of this writing that you do, the sheriff of Clown County, she doesn't acknowledge that there's a sheriff, she doesn't even put her own name as a petitioner, doesn't know her own birth date, doesn't know my name, <laughs> The individual that filled this out, these five minors named are not my five biological sons, are they? Exactly. Where's the protection order? Where's the protection order that prevents me from contacting my sons? Because is this in this? So if properly prepared as a minimum, all the found the same fact as i Also term declaration under penalty of perjury, unsworn declaration under the penalty of perjury. Exactly what the fuck did you issue? <clears throat> this is not, uh, well, it wasn't properly prepared, right? Sworn same international on oral written statement unilaterally made by which the state expresses will, intent, and opinion when acting in the field of international relations. <laughs> now, you're saying that there's no lawsuit for violating the New York Convention of Arbitration Awards. <laughs> well, did you want to go to arbitration today? <sighs> Let's say I went to arbitration with a number of other nations and I was like, well, why don't you give me a hundred billion dollars? <laughs> You're like, no, we just issue court orders where the actual named uh, minors are not the actual minors because they're not the biological children of the petitioner name because the petitioner didn't acknowledge the forgery of the ex official county clerk. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
the Deceptive Act, mm -hmm. Federal Trade Commission, <laughs> the act of deliberately causing someone to believe that something is true when the actor knows it to be false. <laughs> Deception, oh, conflict of interest, <laughs> a trick, a scheme, <sighs> intended to make a person believe something untrue. <laughs> It wasn't really true that she was there that day, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, she didn't acknowledge her own children. And pff, those five minors named are not my actual biological children. <laughs> and you keep arresting me for arrest. Deception. Scheme or trick. <laughs> it's in some of those U.S. codes. Huge conflict of interest. <laughs> Did you fuck her? $20,000 a year. Well, did somebody fuck her? <laughs> Retired sheriff? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> did the old sheriff like big, 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 big titted women? <laughs> I know the new sheriff, Bill Benedict, probably likes small titted women, but <laughs> might have been that Joe Hart <laughs> liked big titted women. Did you arrange for the kidnapping and abduction of my sons <laughs> because of the tit size of my wife? <sighs> Um, deceit, the act of intentionally leading someone to believe something that is not true. <laughs> An act designed to deceive or trick. A juror's deceit led the, the lawyer to believe that she was not biased. <laughs> a false statement. <laughs> a fact made by a person knowingly or recklessly, i.e. not caring whether it's true or false. <laughs> With the intent that someone else will act on it. <laughs> See, fraudulent misrepresentation under misrepresentation, a tort arising from a false representation made knowingly or recklessly with the intent that another person should detrimentally rely on it. <laughs> Looks like you wanted every county in every state of the United States to rely on this county issuing fraudulent uh, court orders where the actual person known as the petitioner didn't acknowledge it herself. <laughs> See, when you say the full faith and credit right now, Oops, you said it was honest, but it's really deceitful, mm -hmm. fraudulent misrepresentation. Without the signature of the petitioner, she can't acknowledge her own children, and she didn't take the time to acknowledge. You intended to deceive the whole nation, every county of the United States. Somebody keeps saying that I'm the one that's crazy, but when I... When I'm the one that didn't get notice of court hearings, I'm the one that said that without her signature, she didn't acknowledge her own children. Yes. Without her signature, she doesn't acknowledge the actual order of the court. Oh. And then she didn't acknowledge the forgery of an elected oath of office. Oh. Your tort arising from the false misrepresentation made knowingly and recklessly <laughs> with the intent to deceive every state of the United States of their full faith and credit. It's going to cost them all because they detrimentally relied upon the honesty of Clown County. Oops, sorry. You deceived the whole nation, you piece of shit. <laughs> And I'm going to sue them all for trusting what you said. Oops. Sorry, Michigan. You're getting fucked by the most fraudulent county in the United States of America. Sorry, Bill. I didn't think you liked big titted women. You decide to materially misrepresent the honesty of a county court. Now, would you remove your fraud from my last name? Because the whole nation believed your fucking bullshit. 